definitely want to do this. Yeah, like I said, it's time for a change. But only I know you decorated with... Well, before. Once we start scraping, there's no turning back, you know. Well, the place needs brightening up. So we are. Let's get cracking. Race you. Come on, man. Hair's coming off quite easy, this. Another pair of your give over. That's going through my head like a skewer through dice chump. Hey, it's not our fault you can't tangle your hell anymore. <sighs> I'd be fine if I'd have been allowed to sleep on. If folk hadn't started shifting furniture before the cockerel cleared its throat. Sorry. We wanted to make an early start. Yeah, don't apologise. His sore head's self-inflicted. Just like his sore wallets. Paris won't be cheap either. Paris? I thought that was a lovely gesture last night. You don't remember? Give over, you're pulling my leg. Does this look like a puckish face? What happened last night? You stood up in the Rovers and said if any couple could prove romance was for real, then you'd send them away to Paris for a weekend. Never in this world I wouldn't stand up and make a show of myself like that any road I'd remember. Wouldn't I? You went to Caden's place on your own. You were feeling down. The Scotch and Fret did the rest. Oh. 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 I was thinking in bed last night. Not all the time, I hope. No, after that, we can't flog the restaurant behind Penny's back. We need her signature on the contract. Yeah, well, I hope you're not going to let a little squiggle on a piece of paper get in our way. There's got to be a way around that. There is, but the police call it fraud. <laughs> it was a nice idea, but we're going to have to forget about it. Oh, right, so that's it then, just like that end of a dream. I'm only being realistic. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry it doesn't quite cover it. Karen, when I closed my eyes last night, all I could think about was us, yeah? Me, you and Amy in the sunshine, then coming back here with enough money to make a real go of things. I wanted this as much as you did, OK? Yeah, well, I wonder if that's true. What are you doing? What are you doing? Shh! Any signature? How did you know that? Some of us were thinking before last night. Do you see how easy it is? Maybe it's. But whatever way we cut it, it's still going to be fraud. Yeah, only if we get caught. Look, you sort out a meeting with Walker and I'll sign the contract. Then we'll go away for a fortnight and we'll have the time of our lives. And when we get back, the dust will have settled, yeah? Penny King and the police will be none the wiser. It's that easy. Well, I'm game. What about you? Our palatic! Any putty brain can see that. Well, you could turn it to your advantage. How? My folk are going to impress you. You're going to have to come in here to do it. And something more here than all. Call it a pub promotion. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Got home for these. Oh, Charlie! They're smashing! What's brought this on? Well, it doesn't hurt to say it with flowers now and again. Say what? You know. I'll put them in water. That's a very nice notion, Charlie. But I shouldn't go buying a berry. Pop promos are not open to stuff. Sorry to hear about you and Jace. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Taking it very well. Most girls will be over there shouting cool. the odds. Oh, you can chat for me once. I can't stop him, can I? <laughs> Things have changed since I was a lad. If I kicked a girl into touch and rubbed Whoa. him... <laughs> Hold on. He don't me? Is that what he's been saying, yeah? <laughs> so, what happened? You hit your head or what? Hey. When I elbowed you, it might explain the memory loss. You know, about me dumping you. Yeah, dumping you because you're a liar, a loser, and a lousy. I'll leave you to find that out. Definitely over then. I was going to dump her. She just got there first. But none of the rest is true, especially the last bit. It's all right. I say as much to every bloke I've been. 
What, so you're still going to go out with us? I am not changing my plans because of her. I hope you've got something special planned, though. I like to be made a fuss of. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, actually, I wanted to invite you round to ours. You know, for tea, like. All right, cool. I'll see you later. Maybe we should just paper over it. Can't do that. We show through new stuff. You can't rush these things, you know. Preparation's everything. I've always hated stripping. I thought you'd do very well at it yourself. Hey, no, I didn't Mind mean... Mind you, if past experience is anything to go by, I think you'd be a lot better rubbing <laughs> down. <laughs> Stop it! Well, drop your weapon, then. <laughs> I just want a kiss. I've just been off home to Jerry Low. Who's he? Square dealer. Owns Fly Low travel agents. He's doing me a deal on this Paris fiasco, but he reckons it's going to cost thick end of £500. Oh, dear. We'll never shift enough ale to cover that lot. Right, now, you order the drinks and say what's on there. Make sure they're in the right order. Champagne, please, Shell. Uh, two glasses. Oh, we only sell it by the bottle and it's 20 quid. But we do sell sparkling wine by the glass. Yeah, that'll do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, champagne, uh, sparkling wine, I say. Because I must have fizz for my darling fizz so we can float to heaven together on the bubbles. Uh, bubbles. Uh, each day we're together, Makes me want to pop a cork, for deep in my heart, I truly know that. Gary Neville is oh, a... That's not the right... I'm going for a lie down. I, I don't know how that got in there. Oh, Kurt, this is a disaster. We're never going to get to Paris at this rate. I'm not that bothered. Well, I am. I can just see us, me up the Eiffel Tower and you up the Notre Dame. But we need to get through to Fred, though. We need to make a lasting impression. I reckon it'll just a thing. Meet me here later. Mrs. Parekh. Ah, uh, you might not remember me. We I met remember you well enough. I have nothing to say. Please, please, at least, at least listen to me. And, and, and if you have nothing to say after that, then fine, I'll leave you in peace. You should have left my family in peace four years ago. Your interference cost me your daughter. Mrs. Parekh, we both know it's more complicated than that. Oh, I do now. When you helped the girl to disgrace her family, I wondered why. I don't anymore. There was nothing going on between me and Sunita back then. You expect me to believe that? First you sabotage her wedding and then marry her yourself? I give you my word, Mrs. Perret. We were never a couple. We never intended to be. There's been so many misunderstandings. Please, at least, let's clear those up. And if you want nothing to do with her, then, then fine. So be it. I thought she might send you. Uh, Salita doesn't know I'm here. No, I came because more than anything in the world, she wants you at her wedding. I have made my feelings clear through my husband and my son. I want no part of this. If she's so eager to have me there, why didn't she come herself? Because she thinks there's no hope. She knows the strength of your feelings, Mrs. Parekh. She doesn't want to cause you any more harm, any more embarrassment. Oh, that would be impossible. Or I thought it was until her phone call. Of all the reasons she should finally get in touch, to tell us that she was getting married, she shames us by rejecting the husband that I had chosen, as if I had given it no care, as if I had chosen someone unworthy, deliberately to cause her unhappiness. And then she adds this final insult. Amina, I can't find my watch. What's he doing here? Mr. Perret. Get out of my house! It's all right, Suresh. I invited him in. He will be leaving shortly. Best to cut your losses if it's not working for you. This is it. Uh, Mr. Walker, I presume. Hi, Penny King. Glad to meet you. So, uh, should we get down to business? Why not? I take it you're happy with everything? 
Um, almost. Well, we've done our sums again, and we do think that 60,000 is a little bit on the low side. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's the figure we agreed. Yes, it is. Um, you handle the customers, Kieran. I'll take care of Mr. Walker. Right, then. Now, where were we? Evening. And you're still open. Well, something, I suppose. I said sorry for closing earlier the other night. Oh, don't worry about it. You won't get much opportunity from now on. Mike and I are going to be eating here more often. I think it's time I was a little bit more hands-on. Right. Well, I get you some menus. She rumbled us. No, she's just over there chucking her weight around. Look, tell Walker the deal is off. What? No way! Penny King is sitting right over there. It's one thing ripping somebody off, it's another thing giving them ringside seats and a tree course meal to go with it. Look, just get a grip, Kieran. Nothing's changed yet. You handle Mike and Penny, and I'll settle with Walker. I don't know. Just go on, because I don't want them getting suspicious. Do you fancy a drink before I put Josh bed? Oh, I'd love one. I'll look at stateries, though. I'll have to get myself cleaned up. Ah, oh, well, you go on, then. I'll finish off here while I need shower. You are an angel. Quickie, you finish that. Quickie, you can get in the shower. Hey, who knows? I might still be in there. Oi, I don't hear much scraping going on. I, look, I realise how hard it must be to forgive, but why let pride stand between you? Is that what you believe this is? That girl took all the dreams that I had for her and tore them up on what should have been the happiest, yes, the proudest day of my life. And it's the way that she did it that hurt the most. We were ashamed. Ashamed to face our family, our friends, the whole community, our own community. And we were always able to hold up our heads. That's not what I meant, Suresh. Though I won't pretend that didn't hurt. We never hid anything from her. She knew our traditions, she knew our plans, but still she said nothing. Instead of coming and talking to me, her own mother, she waited until it was too late and ran. She was scared. Of yes, of me. You don't have any children. You can't imagine what that feels like. To know that it was easier for her to let me down in the worst possible way than to talk to me, her own mother. This was the most humiliating thing, and I didn't deserve it. No, but it doesn't have to be like this. We can heal this. I can see that you miss her. Of course I do. You can never know, but I can't forgive her. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you any upset. An Asian daughter sends us her parents an invitation to her wedding? Well, this is my RSVP. Now leave. Sorry, it's a bit uh, thrown together. It just was a bit short notice. We're having gammon. Um, do you want pineapple or egg with that, love? Pineapple would be great, please. Um, do you mind if I use your... Top of stairs. Well, are you going to take my coat or what? Sorry, yeah, of course. There we go. Thank you. Do you get the rest of the evening off? I knew she was classy. Pineapple on a gammon. What does that prove? Well, we never have it, do we? That's because I never buy it, and anyway, I was banking on a wanting egg. Oh, you'll have to nip down the corner shop sharpish. Oh, and uh, pick up an apple tart and some custard. I don't want her thinking we're all kippers and curtains. Well, who's having kippers? No. Just forget it and get a move on. Yeah, all right. Why did you have to hog all the brains, eh? It's 
to be honest with you, I don't think Kieran was really up to it. He's young. It's a big responsibility running a restaurant. You need broad shoulders, experience. Oh, right. Well, you should be all right then, eh? <laughs> What's up? Sure know that guy from somewhere. Just can't place him, that's all. Well, whoever he is, Tracy's certainly sticking the knife in bringing him here. <laughs> Everything OK with your meals? Oh, well, it tastes fine, but the presentation leaves... Frank so Walker. Yeah, I met him and his wife at the golf club last week. His wife? Yeah, I was telling him about this course I pay in Port of but I couldn't remember the name. I do now. Won't be a sec. I can tell him for you. I don't want your food to get cold. It's Caesar's salad. Hello again, Mike. Sorry to disturb you, Frank. Remember the name of that course? Los Noranges. Like I said, it's a bit tight off the tee, but it's well worth... They've got orange trees all down the fairway. This sounds great. Yeah, it is. What are you doing here, then, eh? Eyeing up the competition? You could say that. Right, well, I'm sure there's room for all of us. I'll tell you this... But I'm, I'm sorry, it's just... Well, we're kind of in the middle of something here. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll catch up with you at the golf club sometime, Mike. Sorry about that. It's just, um, well, Kieran's quite proud. I think he wants to keep the deal under wraps. I hope you don't mind me getting rid of your friend like that. No, not at all. Sometimes there can be a crowd. <laughs> Sorry about the pineapple chunks. Uh, must have picked up the wrong tin. Oh, no, that's all right. It looked really, um, unusual. I didn't mean no offence, but it was lovely. I'm sorry, I, I just say daft things when I'm nervous. Don't strike me as the nervous time. <sighs> yeah, cos especially when I'm trying to make a good impression. Trouble is, usually I lead with me gob and do the opposite. <laughs> well, you're not the only one. I was trying to impress and all. That's why I ended up with pineapple chunks. <laughs> <laughs> just be ourselves, eh? Mm. Hey, who's that? That's me brother. He lives in London. Hey, he's quite fit. You won't be short of grandkids. <laughs> well, that's up to Jason. Todd's gay. Must have been tough for him coming out round here. There are some right deadheads. Can't cope We out different from themselves. Is that why he left? In a way. It's a shame. Doing all right down there, is he? Yeah, he's fine. Do you fancy a copper? Oh, yeah, great. Your mobile was switched off, baby. You don't normally do that. <laughs> So where were you? Out and about. You know, I told you, you want another drink? I want the truth. I won't put up the secrets. All right. All right. I went to see your mother. What? I just thought maybe I could talk her around. Oh, as simple as that. You thought you'd give her a bit of the old Alahan chit-chat and all would be forgiven. So was it? No. I'm sorry. I can't believe you went behind my back. I was just trying to, to... All you've done is given her the satisfaction of putting you in your place. I bet she's crowing. No, she's anything but... I don't want to hear it, Deb. Kirk, what have you done? Made her last an impression. A tattoo. Oh, you've not been to Blackpool again, have you? No, no, Bongo Pete did it. He did one for me, mate. Really fancy lettering, love and hat across his knuckles. Oh, you mean hate? No, hat. The parlour got raided before he could finish. Bongo does it from his front room now. He's put a permanent love message on my arm. Right, Paris, here we come. Get that bandage off. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now then, okay. Can we can I have a bit of bush, please? Now then, um, some of you, well, most of you, will remember that last night I set a challenge. Yes. The challenge stands. And I will be announcing the winner in here. This Friday coming. Oh, <laughs> Romance is not about where you are, it's about who you're with. I mean, any fool can get misty eyed down by saying. <laughs> no, no, you mean Ashley behave. Now, the winners will be going to Paris. The Paris Hotel Bridlington. Oh. No, but it's right on the front. No, Mitch Wong Tank oh, I like Bridlington. And a free holiday's a free holiday, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. Come on, then. Fred, Shelley, look what Kirk's done. Oh, it's very... Fred? Well, 
As much as I like Tommy Cooper, I prefer a nice Panama myself. You what? Oh! I love Fez! Oh, can't you <laughs> flipping moron! If you can make your mark, Penny. Thank you. What is she up to? Well, if he's married, he's probably making her pay. No evidence on the credit card bill, you see. A cheque is absolutely fine. I'm sure you're good for the money. Now that's settled. We can really enjoy ourselves. So, where to now? Well, having seen the wedding ring and the family portrait in your wallet, I reckon you should go home, Mr Walker, yeah? Yes. Perhaps I ought. I'll, um... I'll be in touch. See you then, Frank. Call me, mate. Boy! Drinking on the job. It's closing time, Mike. He's entitled to. Right. See you tomorrow. See ya. Let's see the check then. I can't believe we pulled this off, Kieran. And I can't believe you tried to up the price. Well, there was no harm in trying, was there? No, but we'll have to settle for a 40 grand cut. 40 grand? How good does that sound? It is good. Mm.